Hi there, friends and adventurers. Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And instead of an adventure today, you are in for a treat because I am going to be taking the time to show you every single item that I bring with me car camping or on my solo adventures. Um, as you know, I do, well, some of you may not know if you're new here, if you are welcome, but I am a part-time van lifer, if you will. Um, I do have a home base that I am at most of the time um, for my regular nine to five type job. I am a mom of three kiddos. And so I only am currently able to go out on trips about every other week or so. Um, I do have a few longer trips throughout the year, but for the most part, it's just weekends and you know, a week or two trip here and there. So I have my system pretty much fine tuned so that it's, just takes me a little bit of time to get everything set up or taken out that way regardless of whether I'm going for 24 hours or a few weeks at a time I have everything that I need all in one spot I don't have to worry about forgetting things um, so I kind of have a good organizational system set up at this point and I thought I would share it with you so without further ado let's get to showing you everything that I load up in my minivan camper and where I keep it all I think the way I'm gonna handle this tour, um, for lack of a better word, is I'm gonna start up front, show you everything that I keep up here with me. Then we'll move to the back and I'll show you my trunk space and everything that I keep in the garage, if you will. And then we'll get to the meat and potatoes and I'll show you the main living space and where I store everything and how I have that set up. Um, I do wanna mention, because most of these items are from Amazon, I am gonna link everything that I have links for down below. If I forget anything, feel free to leave me a question in the comments and I will be happy to provide you details if I have them. I do wanna mention that I am an Amazon associate. So if you do use any of the links below, I do earn a small commission on them, although it doesn't cost you any extra. And it is a great way to support the channel so that Tara and I can continue bringing you adventures. But uh, without further ado, I'm gonna shut up about what I'm gonna show you and just start showing you things. So I'm gonna get out of the car so that you can see the space that I'm sitting in and we'll just kind of talk through it. Might as well start with the driver's side door. I keep my Skin So Soft bug wipes with Picaridin right up here for easy access. And then down in the door pocket, I have some hand sanitizer, some lens cleaner for my glasses, pepper spray, and my window covers for this window. I do use the screen and I also use the magnetic curtain, which you guys have seen before, but I will link my window coverings video below if you would like more details on that. Over here, I keep a little broom, which I desperately need to use again already. <laughs> and my camp sandals are tucked here. Now, if we move underneath the seat, please ignore the dirt and dust, but I'm hoping you can see under here with the lighting. I do keep my spare shoes as well as my water shoes underneath there for easy access on the boot scraper, which I use to clean off my boots so that I don't track dirt into the living space. Okay, I did pull it out so that you can get a better look at them when they're not under the seat, but I just slide this out when I need to clean off my shoes and then slide it right back under. Moving into this little compartment here, I don't think I need my winter beanie currently since it's July in Florida, but I keep my binoculars and first aid kit in here on this side. And on the seat itself, I have my lumbar cushions for comfort on longer drives, which are a game changer. I keep my water bottle up here as well as a coffee cup normally. My glasses a glass cleaning cloth, a Tide stick, spare pen, my prescriptions, Benadryl, ibuprofen, the chargers that I use while I'm driving most often, and my little wallet there that I grab every time I get out of the car. Now in here, I have my collection of treasures, my sea bean from Anastasia, crystals, scarab, the shell that I recently collected from Fort Clinch. Just things like that. I have some essential oils that I use for this little oil diffuser that uses the air conditioning to blow scented air out. 
my hands-free phone holder for navigation, which I also have one up here. Fred the plant. And then I also wanna talk about this awesome little thing. This cup holder inverter allows me to charge stuff or run my hot logic while I'm driving. And let's move over to the passenger side now, shall we? But first, you can see my trash can. And as I'm walking around to the passenger side, you can see I have a dehumidifier bag that I keep up here on the dash, as well as my Lucy light so that it charges in the sun. All right, so moving into this door, I have the window covers that I use for this side, as well as a spare pack, just in case, my windshield and glass cleaner, a spare solar powered lantern that I can use, another dehumidifier bag, And you can kind of see the space in here. Oh, I forgot to mention that is my camera battery charger. I keep that there so I don't lose it. <laughs> the glove box itself is just normal stuff. I have my cleaning gel, spare handkerchief, my work badge, and the normal papers that you would keep in your dash. I do have another one in here for extra paperwork masks state park maps, things like that, which brings us down here. You can see the other side of my little secret compartment here where the binoculars and first aid kit are kept. I do keep a couple of spare jugs of water under here, although it's not my main water supply. And then I'll tuck my shower bag here along with my small Jackery 240, my dehumidifier bag, and my snack bag, which we'll take a look at closer in a minute. And my solar lanterns for outdoors, I just tuck under there until I get to camp. Let's talk about what I keep under my seat now that I've cleared out this stuff. I keep a spare squeegee so that I can clean the windshield when needed. I tuck my windshield cover underneath. And then I just have some spare towels under the seat. On the seat itself. I always keep my work handy. So I have my notebooks, my planner, my calendar, notes, my laptop, and then my day bag, which I will show you the contents of in a little bit as well. I like to clip my Garmin inReach on the top for easy access while I'm driving, and then I'll just switch it over to my hiking backpack for hikes. I do use these handy little hooks to hold stuff and I'll keep a couple of hats here normally. My camera sling and then I have this nifty seat cover that I will use to cover anything in the seat when I'm not in it so that it just kind of blends into the seat itself. I have these little side organizers on each seat. Some of you may remember this nifty little hair cleaning tool that I got a lot of comments about. Some sunblock, sanitizing wipes, and then I'll keep some spare trash bags in here. Unfortunately, I had to pull into my messy garage because the wind picked up and it was impossible to hear me out there. So let's talk about the trunk space or my garage of my minivan camper. I'm going to work my way from outward inward and just empty it out so that I can show you everything better. I do keep my aluminum folding camp table. Behind that you can see I have my WeatherTech window covers my Alpacool C20 fridge. And then let's talk about the other items. These are the privacy panels for my clam tent, which I'll show you in a moment where I keep that. My mosquito netting for the back hatch, along with a couple of reusable shopping bags. This is just back here while I'm driving, but it goes up into my living space when I'm at camp and it's all of my coffee supplies, my milk frother, my AeroPress, 
my coffee itself, and then a couple of tea bags. One thing I love about the storage containers is the bamboo top. It makes an excellent extra surface space when I'm preparing on the camp table, like the picnic table or bench. And then in this one, I just keep some spare shelf-stable food. It's kind of like my backup pantry, so there's things like tuna packets, chicken, rice, beans, things like that. I have my Lunatec pressurized water bottle hanging here until I get to camp. My shower bag with my shower sandals. And then I'll just throw a towel and whatever change of clothes in there. My Coleman camp chair. With my outdoor rug underneath. When I move those things out of the way, it makes room for my garage storage unit. These are my newest addition, my picnic table cover and bench covers. And then I am going to show you everything I keep in here right now. You can see I have quite the collection of bungees and electrical cord. This is my tailgate tent that I still bring with me but have yet to use <laughs> after two years. That will be a future video though. I've got some battery powered lights that I can clamp on outside or inside, my toolkit, a backup fan, some sticky gel pads, some magical flames because everybody needs to have colored fire sometimes, <laughs> my Dr. Bronner's eco-friendly soap, a hammock that I have yet to use but do plan on using very soon. My thermocell that I am planning on trying out for the first time this weekend. Some air freshener, dehumidifier. And then I just have sponges, batteries, some extra clamps, and some tiny bungees in there. And just uh, some spare tent stakes and some odds and ends. I just realized now that I'm organized, my pool float will fit in here too. So I am all neatly packed up and loaded up for my trunk. This is just a metal utility shelf that the fridge is sitting on. And it does have adjustable height. You can move this up or down depending on how low you want the shelf to be. Now moving over to this side, I have my main water supply, which is a three gallon jug. And then I use this USB rechargeable sink pump, which is super handy. Driving, I do rest my water jug on a cutting board with a towel over it, and that sits on top of my car emergency. All right, now you can see when that's all cleared out, what's left is this storage hamper, my shade tent, which just slides right in here on the side, and this, I will only bring if I think I'm going to use my electric pot because it is too big to fit in my three drawer storage unit. In there, I just have a spare shower bag and then a bunch of towels, blankets, an extra laundry bag, and that's where I'll keep all of my sheets and towels, which are currently in the laundry. Using this since I can bend it or wedge it into any shape so it's convenient for wedging into tight places. This is my electric pot slash pan and then just some extra kitchen supplies i always keep an extra container for my hot logic for leftovers some extra towels my taco holders <laughs> just some spare kitchen stuff that i don't need every single time and then when i'm not using it i just like to wedge it in place on top of all of my sheets and towels since it fits nicely in that space all right, we're ready for the meat and potatoes. Let's start on this side. I have a little shawl that I keep here just to cover myself up as a, like a bathing suit cover up or a wrap for my shoulders if I'm walking along the beach. This is one of my newer additions. It's a little garbage bag holder, but I also keep other stuff in the top that I wanna grab out and then I can pull plastic bags out of the bottom. In this little pocket, I just keep my sketch pad, some coloring books, and some other books that I'm reading. You can see down here is my main power supply, my Jackery 1000, which every time the engine is running, I do have it plugged in 
right over here as you can see. This is my main seating when I'm not in bed. It does have a gray cover as well that's underneath here so you can either use the beige or the gray. And then this is where I store my clam while I'm driving. I always keep the outer bag inside so that it doesn't get dirty. And then I just pull it out when I get to camp. So now let's look at the rest of the living space. Oh, I did forget to mention the little hook that it's hanging on. This is a really powerful magnetic hook so I can hang garbage bags or anything off of this that I want to. And I do keep my thermometer here and as you can see it's very toasty out here right now so I'm melting a little bit. All right I'll talk about the bed here in a moment but let's talk about what's underneath it for now. I keep my clothes and packing cubes. These are my tops, t-shirts and tank tops, pants and shorts, undergarments, first aid kit, and then I have some extra storage space in that spot that's not currently being used. Underneath my packing cubes, this is my incontinence pad, which is waterproof. So what I actually use it for is I'll just lay it on top of my bed or my couch if I'm sweaty after a hike and wanna sit somewhere, that way I don't have to worry about getting sweaty on my bedding. <clears throat> on this side over here, I just slide my little plant-based incense sticks that are supposed to repel mosquitoes and I do believe that they're working. Now while I have this up, I am going to be doing a video on my bed itself, how I turn my third row bench, which is what this is, into my bed. But I just have my zero degree sleeping bag folded and then I have a full sized mattress topper that's one and a half inches thick and I just have it folded several times because the width is about, I wanna say 53, 54 inches, which fits very tightly right in this space. And then I do have about six extra inches on each side so that I'm able to stretch out. Underneath the fitted sheet is a waterproof mattress cover. And then on top of my bedding is this awesome cooling blanket, which I love. Love, love, love. It really does help. I also have a regular blanket, which I am not using too much right now, as you can imagine. And then moving over here to the shelf, I just have a little phone holder for watching TV at night and a couple of little books and journals for easy reach. This I can use as a grocery bag, a fruit hammock, any kind of storage for over the bed. On top of the bed itself, this is a pillowcase that I stuff my pajamas, bathing suit, things like that in. And I do in the winter have an extra one for sweats and things like that, but I don't need it right now. This is my co-pilot Smokey and my co-co-pilot Flora. And then these are just normal pillows. Now I do use this back pillow. I always use the back one so I don't get them mixed up. The back one will go over here if I need to use it to put my feet up against to rest. This one pads the window on this side, and then this pillow is actually a pillow pillow for my head. I love my little rainbow stained glass decals along the back. Those were just a clearance find, just some decor, and an old dream catcher from years and years and years ago. And then you can see in the window itself is my WeatherTech window cover. I do keep the third row windows in all the time and then I'll just pop the back one and these side ones in when I'm here at night. And then tucked up where the headliner meets the plastic here is my trusty little $10 USB light bulb which works very well with this little switch. And I keep it plugged in to this small little battery bank at all times and then just slide that back there. That way when I'm in bed, I can turn off the lights as well. I do keep a hand sanitizer in this cup holder. And then if I move over to this door, you can see I keep the fire extinguisher and that one for easy access, which I'm gonna come around to that side in a minute and show you that. 
I do keep any spare shoes that I'm not using that need to be indoors on this doormat. And then aside from the doormat, I just have some washable area rugs on top of some folded yoga mats so that I can move around comfortably on the floor. And then I have a rug on this side as well. Now sitting here facing the other way, you can get a better look at what it looks like from this side. This is my main storage area, this three drawer unit, which I have had for well over a decade. I don't even remember where it came from. I know it will eventually need replaced, <laughs> which makes me very sad. But let's see what's inside these drawers. I figured the easiest way to show you the contents of all three drawers would be to just lay them out side by side and go through them. So this is the top drawer, the middle drawer, and the bottom drawer of my three drawer storage unit. Now let's take a look at the first one. I just have a mixing bowl and some extra bowls for eating. This is my utensil cup, which also doubles as another cup. And then I have another cup stacked. I've got my seasonings, vitamins, just my dry goods. This is the top to my water bottle when I don't have the USB sink pump in it. Some cooking oil, and then I just have some dried soup mixes, mashed potatoes, beans and rice, my rechargeable lighter, and that's about it. Just some supplements and things like Benadryl and Tylenol. This is more of my cooking stuff. So I have my Dash Mini Griddle, my 300 watt tea kettle, my Stanley stainless steel tea kettle, and a measuring cup that's silicone underneath. I also have a extra coffee mug and my drinking glass. When I take out that top layer, you can see I just have some collapsible storage containers for leftovers or food, my Hot Logic, and some chip clips. Now moving on to the third and final drawer, I have my rinse-free bath sponges that I highly recommend. My string lights that I can just clip on with the cubicle clips I already have in place in my car. This is a cool little LED lighted stand that I put my crystal here below on for an extra night light. I've got an extra microfiber towel, my oil diffuser with some essential oils, a spare, one of these for easy grab. This is my photography lens ball, some spare ground coffee. And then this is where I keep my junk drawer items. So I have some extra pens, magnets, sticky things, gel pads, this is my phone case that lets me take it underwater. Just some miscellaneous things like that. A glass cleaning cloth. And that's that. Oops, I forgot to mention these. I do keep some spare DVDs. Don't judge my movie choice. Just the classics. <laughs> and a portable DVD player that I can plug in with USB into my laptop if my other one dies for times when I don't have service and I don't have anything. This is my library and entertainment section that I keep up on my toilet when I'm at camp during the day. I've got some colored pencils, a lot of coloring books, my van life book that my kiddos got me, and just some journals and things like that. My extra tripod, and then underneath here, I keep my large cutting board so that I can just pull it out for extra counter space, if you will, and push it back in. I do have my rechargeable de dehumidifier here, although I have to admit they don't last as long as I thought. This is already my second one and it's not recharging as well, so I think I'm going to have to replace that one again soon. On top of my power stations at camp when not in use, I keep my little lap desk. And this is my other main power supply, my Blue Eddy. The 
this is 716 watt hours with an 800 watt inverter. So this is what I use for all of my cooking needs. And then my big Jackery is solely for my fridge so that I can power my fridge 24 seven without having to worry about draining it for other uses. My small Jackery 240 Explorer up front, I'll bring back here to charge my phone, tablet, things like that, fans, those kind of things. You can see I have my fanny pack and my camera sling hanging over that headrest. And on this headrest, I keep my headlamp for easy access so that I do not lose it. On either side of my grab handles is where I keep my rechargeable Cooney fans. They are very powerful and they will last 24 hours on low before charging again. And you can see they rotate all around so that you can really direct the airflow the way you want to. Now, if we move down here, I have my smaller cutting boards, my crystals, and just some knickknacks. I've come around the other side now so you can see what I keep on the outside of my three drawer storage unit. I just use a small bungee to keep these in place, but I just keep a roll of paper towels handy, these free and clear wipes that are compostable, and they are um, food and pet safe, and then my spare water bottle. I do have a smaller one that I use as a gray water bottle for like spitting toothpaste and stuff, but that's in the dishwasher right now. Now looking behind here, I keep my collapsible sink. And the other magic mesh screen, I have one on each side under the seats. This you have seen in other videos is what I use for these Velcro tabs. I have Velcro tabs along the top of this and up here. And then when I get to camp, I just pop that baby in and then I roll it up at night when I close the door and I can just clip it up here so that it's ready to go the next day. Looking back into this little pocket, I have an extra dry bag for laundry, another journal, and a teeny tiny mini broom and dustpan. I also did want to point out, you can see here, this is my toilet, which I'm going to show you the contents of in a moment. Don't worry, not those contents. <laughs> I do have it sitting on a washable bath mat. And you can see there's enough storage space in between so I can slide things here out of the way, like books, my work, my laptop, things like that when they're not in use at night and I need the extra space. All right, let's take a look and see what I keep in my toilet or my mobile bathroom. One of the things that I really appreciate about this toilet, and I wish I could link it, but it has not been available forever now, so I think it was discontinued, but I can use it as a storage ottoman or an extra seat, so I do use this as a chair sometimes. It does collapse flat and fold up into the lid, so it stores basically as compact as this when needed. It has a nice comfy padded seat, and then inside, I keep all of my supplies, like my pea cloth, my reusable urinal, some wipes, disposable urinals, poo powder, which solidifies liquids, some cedar shavings, a waterproof mat that I can line on the bottom, some spare bags, and air freshener. That does pretty much conclude all of the things that I bring with me, but I did promise you every item. So let's take a look inside my car emergency kit, my shower bag, and those type of things now. Penny wants me to show you what's inside my snack bag first, but instead we're gonna start here with my car emergency kit. <laughs> So I just keep it in this waterproof bag and these are all the things that go inside of it. I have a tire compressor to inflate or deflate, tire gauge, I have a spare 30 amp to 20 amp hookup, some gloves, my jump starter, and a windshield repair kit. Which reminds me as a quick PSA, make sure your charger is charged. I did have to use it a little while back when my battery died, 
So it's only at 81% now. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a chart. That's my kitty jumping off the bed. She's not very graceful. So I'm just going to finish charging it up here. In my dry cooler bag, I just have some napkins and extra utensils in this front pouch. I keep these side pouches open pretty much in case I need to put anything in for a picnic. And then inside, I normally keep a spare camp meal. Got some mac and cheese, some tuna and chicken packets, tortillas. I have some instant coffee for backup, a cup of noodles. And then just some condiments, honey, mustard, some little fruit pouches, and then some spare rice, mashed potatoes, and beans. And then I'll throw like some crackers or chips on the top normally. All right, let's take a quick peek. I'm not going to go into super detail because it's pretty standard stuff. But I just have some pens and lip glosses, a couple of extra carabiners in this pocket and some chapstick, and I'll keep some spare cash in here when I'm out and about sometimes. I've got my hot spot and spare camera batteries in here, a poncho, and my lotion for my joints right here. <clears throat> and then in this side is my deodorant, sunglass case, and then in the big part, I just have my memory cards so that I can work on the road, my makeup and toiletries, some pens, a Tide stick. I always have lots of pens. <laughs> Travel wallet, hairbrush, mini first aid kit, and a travel light mirror, lighted mirror. <laughs> I've actually done a video on this shower bag before, so I will link that below for more details, but it has a little hook you can hang on the shower bar. And then I just have like hydrocortisone cream, moisturizer, toothbrush, toothpaste, wipes, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, all the normal things. also has these little side pouches so I'll keep some extra bug wipes and face masks in there. I have a loofah face mask and some shower caps, some eye drops, and leave-in conditioning spray. Heather from the future jumping in because I forgot to show you my inner console. That's where I keep my extra Jackery charging cord, my disposable toothbrushes, some change for tolls, and then a couple of extra charging cords, some Cottonelle flushable wipes, and some hand sanitizing wipes. Now we're done. And there you have it, folks. Every item that I bring with me car camping or for my part-time van life adventures. And I hope you found it helpful. I hope that maybe you found some things that might be useful to you that you hadn't thought of before. Maybe it gave you some ideas on how to store things or organize things better. If you did like it, I would love for you to leave me a thumbs up to let me know. If you have any tips or tricks that you would like to share with anybody or any awesome gadgets or gizmos that you want to share with people before Prime Day is coming up, please feel free to leave those in the comments as well. And. I will see you on the next adventure, which I'm so excited for because I have got some really cool places coming up this month. Till then, bye.